and welcome to my book haul. Now, the first books we are going to be dealing with are right here. <laughs> uh, now, I am missing one of the books in the series. Um, but that that's okay. I'll buy it later. This needs to be in a different order. Yeah. Oh my god. And obviously, I do not take care of my books well enough. <laughs> because I can't do this properly. And up here. There we go. So, we have... You know how I was talking about... Probably, I think I was talking... I made a few videos about this, but I don't know if I uploaded it. About me buying new copies with the new covers. Yes, I don't have City of Fallen Angels <laughs> for the mortal instruments, so they match my Infernal Devices books. Yeah, so that's what I did. So, I just don't have City of Fallen Angels yet, because... <sighs> I'm going to get a job first before I even do that. <laughs> I need a job. It's so upsetting that I don't have one. But anyways, yes, I have the mortal instruments. Most of them. There's just a missing book, like right here. Yeah, right here. There's just a missing book. But I'll get it later. I bought them all separately, yes. Um, but probably worth it. Oh. I've nearly spent some. I've spent so much, but as you all know, my let's just grab a my uh yeah my city of glass is one of the worst. Uh, but my copies are so worn out from constantly reading and so much that I I had to, I had to buy a I had to buy brand new copies now. But I'm keeping those because they are they are lovely, and they were they were my first books I ever bought. So yes. Now, that is the first five books. Now, our next book is King's Cage. Now, I bought this, but I don't have the other two books, so I can't can't like. But this is an amazing book. I just finished it last night and I, 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 I'm going to cry. Oh, oh God. Oh, okay. Still fresh feelings. Still there. Um, but King's Cage is a lovely book. The Red Queen series is not really I got to keep reminding myself of that. The Red Queen series is so good. And it is just amazing. And just this book. Honestly, Red Queen, the first book, was 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 good. It was it was great. It was awesome. Glass Sword kinda was a letdown. But then King's Cage, oh my god. Just everything is amazing and the last 150 pages I was like I'm so scared everything could be tied in for the next book like 20 or 30 pages no it got 150 and now like oh no why no cow why? Okay, I'm literally crying now. Okay, let's, let's, let's stop talking about King's Cage for now. My next book is, and I have also read this one, Stalking Jack the Ripper. I do not believe I have this in a book haul, but never know. Um, because I haven't looked at my videos in a while. Um, but in, but in case you haven't heard of this and or you haven't picked this up or you've heard of it and you haven't picked it up and you don't want to read it all because of the cover and how she's got like a smirky smile 
pick it up. Honestly, this book is amazing. It's it doesn't a lot of people won't read this because they think it's going to it's going to bring it's going to be like playful on the whole Jack the Ripper thing. It is anything but. And I love it. And I can't wait for Hunting Prince Dracula that comes out in August, I want to say. But this book, it's amazing. And I was actually honestly super surprised with who Jack the Ripper was because I was there were signs pointing at a few characters, but it wasn't the actual character that was uh, Jack the Ripper. Also, this kind of influenced me a bit. Um, the back was, which said, he murdered women in cold blood. He terrorized an entire city. He taunted those of us who hunted him down. But despite all these horrors, in the end, I could not deny it. I was the girl who loved the Ripper. Seriously, though. With that influence, I thought it was going to be the old love interest. But then there's also the fact that, oh yeah, friends and family. Yeah, mainly friends. Anyone that you love can be a killer. So, I recommend everyone pick this up. It's great. It's There's so much. There, there's the mystery. It keeps you guessing, and, and honestly, who doesn't want to read about a girl from the 1800s who, who, just, who loves to perform autopsies, and she's like a, a, a lord's daughter, so it's great. Um, now, my next book is Tales from Shadow Under Academy. It's full on just amazing physical form. I mean, look at how thick this is. Where's Lady Midnight? There's Lady Midnight. It's about the same. It's a, it's a bit thinner, but it's about the same as Lady Midnight. And wow, Lady Midnight's pages are a lot darker. But it's like the same. It's almost the same. I like this Lady Midnight and it's amazing and I'm like dying. Oh shit. That's just I should not be holding things so close. But yes, I I haven't I haven't really read this yet, so but I do I did know in before Lady Midnight, I did know to read, uh, to read um, one of the stories in here, which was The Lost Herondale and stuff, but yeah, <laughs> it's amazing, and yeah. Now, our last two books after I turn on the light because it's getting dark, our last two books, God, you can hardly see me because this pile is so high. Um, my last two books are the first two books in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. Yeah. These were Christmas presents. God oh, damn it. These were Christmas presents uh, from some friends. Um, they, couldn't, they couldn't find the last book, so I just got the first two. Um, but it is amazing. I, I really want to take this off though, if this is a sticker, let's see, I don't think it's a sticker, damn it, but yes, I can't wait to be reading these, these are actually the only two books in this book haul where I haven't read them yet, but I will soon, they are both on that reading challenge over there, <laughs> and they're I've heard that they're amazing. I know Jesse the Reader loves this series. Um, personally, my favorite is still the entire 
Shadowhunter novel. The entire Shadowhunter Chronicles is the novel, so maybe I'll like these more, but I can never love any book more than the Mortal Instruments, the Infernal Devices of the Dark Artifices, uh, Tales from Shadowhunter Academy, and then my, and then, um, The Bane Chronicles. I can't love any book, any other books more than that because they were my first real young adult books. Anyways, so yeah, I'll get to reading these sometime, definitely this year. Um, but yeah, I've heard amazing things about this and I haven't seen the movie so as not to influence myself. But I, I honestly cannot wait to, to read these. So, yes, that is, that is the, uh, book haul for now, for, like, for today. Let's just try and get this all organized so I can hold them all up. Put the hardcovers on the bottom. They're also bigger. Then we take this. I'm gonna have to, like, move these around. And this bothers me. Hold on. Nana puts music in I because I have no editing skills at the moment. All of my editing skills are just gone. Okay, now I can hold them all up. Yeah, so here's my book haul. God, this is heavy. Um, but yes, I, I hope everyone in, enjoyed this. Um, but I will be finishing this, this book here, uh, probably tomorrow. So I'm getting through some, the, some books, some things, some videos. Trying to record a few while well, my brother's not home, but honestly, the, this entire pile of books is just amazingness, especially with these and Shadowhunter Academy at the bottom. Can't wait to read these specifically because I really want to, and um, I've heard such great things. Anyways, what the fuck? Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video, which will be a rip it or ship it video. I'll do that. I gotta write names down though, because I know I know that tag's really old, so I'm not tagging anyone because I'm sure everyone has read it. I like how. I like how it's just by Ransom Riggs, like right here. You might, you guys probably can't read it, but it's great. Anyways, I, I, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.